Think of the last time you struggled to forgive someone. Recall the sharp sting of betrayal, the weight of disappointment, the echo of words that cut deep. We've all been there, standing at the crossroads where forgiveness seems an impossible feat. But what if I told you there's a key to transforming these moments of pain into a path of profound healing? Stay with me as we journey through the depths of forgiveness and unearth its life-altering power. Every one of us, at some point in our lives, has been wounded. Whether it was by a family member's careless comment, a friend's betrayal, a colleague's deceit, or even a stranger's indifference, these wounds, whether intentional or not, leave deep scars. The pain lingers, festering in our hearts like an open wound, never quite healing. The question that haunts us is, how do we navigate through this maze of hurt? Can we really move on from the past, heal our inner turmoil, and mend broken relationships? The journey is neither straightforward nor easy. It calls for something powerful, something often misunderstood, Forgiveness. But let's be clear, forgiveness is not a simple act of forgetting or excusing. It's a complex emotional odyssey. It's about liberating ourselves from the shackles of resentment, taking a courageous step toward our own healing. Why is forgiveness so daunting? It challenges our innate sense of justice, our deep-seated need for fairness. When wronged, our natural impulse is to cling to anger, to demand retribution or at least acknowledgement of our pain. This emotional response is deeply rooted in our primal desire for justice and recognition. Yet, the burden of unforgiveness is heavy. It impacts not just our mental state, but also our physical health. Research has shown that harboring unforgiveness can lead to increased stress, elevated blood pressure, and a weakened immune system. The cost of holding on to grudges is, indeed, steep. So, how do we embark on this journey of forgiveness? It begins with a conscious, often difficult, decision to release our grievances. This doesn't happen in heartbeat. It's a process that demands patience, empathy, and above all, self-reflection. Often, we misconceive forgiveness as something we do for the other person, but in reality, it's a gift we give ourselves. It's about reclaiming control from the hurt inflicted upon us and refusing to let it dictate our lives. This shift in perspective is critical. It moves us from a position of victimhood to one of empowerment. As we navigate the turbulent waters of forgiveness, we must recognize it's not a sign of weakness, but a testament to our inner strength. Forgiveness doesn't mean forgetting, but choosing to remember with a spirit of grace. It's not about condoning the hurt, but about releasing its stranglehold on us. This path to forgiveness often requires a leap of faith. Faith in a bigger picture, in the healing power of compassion, and in the resilience of our spirit. It's about trusting that life's experiences, including the painful ones, are there to mold us, to help us grow. Forgiveness is the key that unlocks the door to healing. But how do we actually forgive? How do we let go of the anger, the resentment, the bitterness, the thirst for revenge, how do we dismantle the barriers that block our path to forgiveness? The answer, my friends, is faith. Faith in a higher power, in a divine love that surpasses all understanding. Faith in a grace that covers every flaw, in a mercy that renews each morning, in a promise that offers eternal hope. Faith is the bridge that leads us to forgiveness. Why should we forgive, you ask? Why show mercy to those who have wronged us? Why bless those who have cursed us? Why pray for those who have persecuted us? The answer lies in love. 
a love that is not driven by fleeting emotions but by deliberate actions, a love that isn't swayed by circumstances but anchored in choice, a love that isn't self-centered but self-sacrificing, a love that isn't of human origin but divinely inspired. Love is the driving force behind forgiveness. We find the epitome of forgiveness, faith, and love in Jesus Christ, who bore the cross for our transgressions. Betrayed, denied, abandoned, mocked, tortured, and crucified, he endured unimaginable pain and had every right to harbor hatred and seek vengeance. Yet, he chose forgiveness, saying, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Luke chapter 23 verse 34 He forgave those who harmed him, trusted in a higher plan, and loved even those who took his life. As his followers, we are called to embrace this radical forgiveness. It's not merely a moral obligation, but a pathway to true liberation. When we forgive, we break free from the chains of bitterness and open our hearts to healing and renewal. So, I ask you, what choice will you make? Will you cling to the pain, allowing it to define you? Or will you embark on the liberating journey of forgiveness? The choice is yours. Choose forgiveness and you embrace healing. Choose healing and you seize life. Choose life and you align with the divine. In our exploration of forgiveness, We've seen its challenges and its transformative power. Forgiveness is more than an act. It's a choice that leads us on a path of healing and growth. It's about letting go of the past, not to forget. To forge a future unburdened by bitterness. Forgiveness is a journey we don't have to undertake alone. Often, it requires support, understanding, and divine guidance. It's a path that calls for bravery for it's not easy to forgive those who have deeply wronged us. But in this bravery, we discover true freedom. Let us pray. Dear God, we stand in awe of the forgiveness, faith, and love you've shown us through Jesus Christ. We are grateful for the healing you've brought into our lives, our relationships, and our world. We admit our failings in forgiving others as you have forgiven us. We acknowledge our shortcomings in loving as you have loved us. We seek your forgiveness, Lord. We yearn for your grace. We plead for your mercy. Guide us, O Lord, to forgive those who have wounded us as you have forgiven us. Help us to trust in you in all situations. Empower us to love unconditionally as you do. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Lead us in your truth. Equip us to fulfill your will. Use us, Lord, to spread forgiveness, faith, and love. Help us to bring healing and life to others. We pray all these in Jesus Christ's name, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you for joining me on this profound journey of forgiveness. May you find the strength to forgive, the courage to heal, and the wisdom to embrace the transformative power of love and compassion. If this message has inspired you, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.